Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. I have been getting some questions saying that some people have like certain trucks and they want to get a lift and some tires, but they don't know what the overall height is going to be. So I'm going to tell you how to do that pretty much today. So the one thing to know is this applies to every vehicle ever. It applies to this truck. It applies to this Jeep. It applies to that truck. It applies to any vehicle ever that you want to lift. So for example, we will do this truck right here. It has a six inch rough country lift on it. One thing to note with it is the truck is actually lifted six and a half inches, not six, six and a half. So let's say your stock height was, let's say 32 inches to the top of the wheel well there. So you would take that 32 plus your six and a half inches of lift that you're gonna put on the vehicle, puts you at 38 and a half inches. But then let's say your stock height is or for your tires is 32 inches and you want to go to 35s so that is a three inch bigger tire but then you have to go measure from the center not the overall height so you measure from the center you take half of that so three inches you take that half because that is the only part that is really like touching the ground that part is just up in the air so three inches so you would take an inch and a half so you've got your six and a half inches of lift plus your inch and a half of your new tire puts you at eight inches. So you were at 32 inches from the ground to right here before, then now you are at 40 inches. Same thing with the top of the truck. Let's say the top of your truck was seven foot before, same thing, six and a half inch lift, three inch bigger tires. Um, that puts you at eight inches taller. So if you were at seven foot, now you're at seven foot, eight inches. So that is how you'd figure it out. Same thing with any other kind of lift. The only thing to really know is certain brands of lift have a different amount of lift. Like I've heard of some lifts claiming they're a six inch lift, but you get it, put it on, it's actually a five inch lift. They're just saying it's six inches, but when you uh, put it on your vehicle and everything's compressed and everything it ends up being like a five inch lift. So make sure you do your research before to figure it out. And like same thing with this Jeep. Let's say it's got, like a three inch lift on it. You know, you're going from, excuse the wind by the way, that's just terrible in Nebraska here. Uh, but like, let's say this was 25 inches before, I don't know, 25 inches plus your three inches of lift puts you at your 28 inches. And you want, uh, let's say four inch bigger tires. So you take half that, which is then two inches. So you have your three inches of lift plus your two inches, five inches. Overall height was six foot, and then that puts you at six foot five. So that's how you figure it out. Same thing with that, the truck's got a two inch lift, um, and it's got 34s on it. So same kind of thing, two inch bigger tires with a two inch lift, it sits four inches taller than stock. So that's how you would figure it out with any vehicle. I mean, I think I covered everything with it. If I left something out, drop a comment down below let me know um, what you guys are wondering and want to know. But as always, thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.